What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and in today's video I'm going to be calling motivated sellers live in front of you and we might even talk to some cash buyers as well. So I'm going to be wholesaling real estate in front of you live on this video. It's going to be value packed. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can learn everything that I'm going to go over in this video. But with that being said, let's get right into it. There is a couple things that I do want to show you before we get started um, because you probably are curious what I am using to wholesale real estate on my computer, what I'm using on my two screens. So I want to show you that real quick. Let's check that out. So on one screen, I am using my CRM, my client relationship management system. And on my other screen, I am using PropStream and I am using my offer calculator. So let me go ahead and show you these. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So this is Wholesale Podio wholesalepodio.com. It's my CRM, my client relationship management system. It handles every part of your business, acquisitions department, transactions department, dispositions department, cash buyers, title companies, team members, employees, emails, KPIs, key performance indicators, automatic follow-up. It does it all for you. This is the center of our business. When we do marketing, we funnel those motivated sellers into our CRM, and then it creates a lead profile for each seller that has the address, name, contact info, lead source, what marketing channel it came from, contact attempts, lead status, reason for selling, note section, it has the automatic follow-up system that will automatically send them texts and emails on our behalf to follow up with the seller for us, automatic contract generation and sending, so that way you can generate the purchase agreement and send it to the seller right away to save time and send more contracts. It does so much more than that. That is just a brief overview of one section of Wholesale Podio. Make sure you go to wholesalepodio.com and get a full demo of that. The next thing that we use is PropStream. PropStream is an all-in-one real estate investor tool. It lets you pull up any property across the country and it's gonna give you all the information about that property. So that way you can sound like an expert and have all the info in front of you when you're talking to the seller on the phone. It also lets you pull comparable sales so that way you can figure out what the property that you're looking at is worth. It also lets you do marketing, websites, you name it. It does a ton of stuff. It's an all-in-one tool. Go down below, get a seven-day tr free trial. There is a link in the description for a seven-day free trial. Next, I use my offer calculator. Once I get what the property is worth from PropStream, I plug that into my offer calculator that's available at jacobblank.com shop. And then it runs all the calculations for me and spits out the MAO, the maximum loud offer to make the seller. And so if you're struggling to make offers that are accurate to the seller, I highly recommend you go get this offer calculator at jacobblank.com shop. With that being said, let's get right into it and let's start calling sellers. So this seller right here is really giving us a hard time about everything. And she's texting me, you go ahead and proceed and this, I'm upset, I, don't, I lost the joy in going through with this transaction. Hello. Hi. So she's made it just such a mess. How may I help you? Hey, May, how are you doing? My name is Chef Lucas. It's Jacob, the one buying your property. Okay. I'm just checking in with you. So I'm confused as to what, what the issue is. Uh, we just uh, need to get, get a hold of the lady that's in the property and, um, and see if she'll move out. Yeah, I know. Okay, so what what is you texted me that you've lost the joy in the sale and I, I'm just. Well, I'm just saying, man. You know, go on and do what you got to do because um, I told you I was gonna uh, do try to get the share. I'm trying to get the money together. I I'm having surgery on my left eye and then the right I'm having surgery on my left foot and my right foot which is not your personal problem and uh, 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 in and, and, and fact related to that I'm having problems with my mortgage company over here uh, acting crazy because uh, the mortgage company went in bankruptcy with some money that I had for the insurance to repair my house from the hurricane damage 
So I'm just going through some some things. It's not just the house itself that's on my agenda. Got I'm, it. I'm, oh. having, I'm having four different surgeries. I'm almost 80 years old, and I want to sell a house. I'm not running game with the house, but I want to max out the max that I can get for it. Well, this is my last shot at it. Well, and, well, um, well. So I'm not we, playing games about the house. Right, so I, 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 informed, I informed you that I had to get the chef to move this woman from off the premises. Okay. And I wanted to do it the right way. Um, being rushed, I had I it was my choice to wait until I got the deed in my hand. Then I had somebody call me, tell me something wrong with the deed, so I slowed down and I actually went down to the courthouse which was um, Friday, and got another copy of the deed and checked with the court. I was just not wrong with the deed. Okay. So at least I know that's from the hardest mouth. Because I got a statement from someone. You know, I didn't even want to discuss it with you or nobody. Okay. I wanted to go down there and find out for myself. Okay. Because I got this text that, is, that the deed had an error on it, and that's not true. Okay, well. So now I can, I can say it. Well, that that's couple what things, was man. wrong with me because I had to go find out for myself. Okay. And I did that Friday evening. Okay, couple things. We obviously you got a lot going on. That's no problem at all. We can move on your timeline to buy the property, you know, and work with you on that. There's no pressure. We can it can take as much time as it needs, but we can work with you and work together to get this lady out. And so if we get contact with the tenant, we can offer her a few thousand dollars to move out. Or, or work something out where, where it's a win-win situation for you know, everybody. I had, I had, you know, she and I worked together with my aunt. My aunt was in her 90s, almost 100. And she was living there with her uncle. And the, and the lady was my aunt. He died first, right? So she and I, you know, I'd go spend time with her when she went to work. So, you know... But I done misplaced her name and her uh, phone. I got it in my phone. I don't even remember. But what in the processing, I was moving a little slow to until I went to that courthouse to make sure my papers was okay. okay. And I had put the uh, the letter. The first letter went in the mailbox. It dropped down through the mailbox. So then I went and I carried the letter. So apparently the mailbox in itself has a hole, so I don't know. Okay. All right, well, well, you got to send mail. it certified then, like you said. So I'm going to send her a certified letter. Okay. I told you I just found out everything is all right with the deed okay. for myself Friday. So now I can, I can feel satisfied that everything is okay to go. Okay. So the only other thing I have to say is as far as you getting the most out of the house, um, and, and, and talking to other people about other offers, we already have a signed agreement for the price that we're buying it for. Well, I understand that. You keep repeating yourself. I got two PhDs. I understand what you're saying. Okay. So then... But the house is still out there. They didn't stop people from calling. I just hung up with a man a few minutes ago. They got my number. They're calling me. Okay. And then when they call you, you're just supposed to tell them I already sold it. Yeah, well, hey, I can do what I want to do. I can still talk. Okay, fine. It doesn't matter, it's though. We have a, you can't man. accept any other offers. And I so. ended up knowing that the man wanted to give me four hundred fifteen dollars That's fine. You can't. You can't. Me. We're already under contract, though. We're already. You call me just like you calling me, talking to me. Right, but, but, but the difference. Have on that night. The difference I don't between know. him. I didn't get my phone number, and I really don't even care because right about now, I'm sitting here with. <laughs> the pain's in my foot. They did a trial on my left foot. It's for the right foot, right? Well, yeah. And well, the, well, May. Now the pain shooting in my back. I, I, uh, they did a test so I could see if I wanted them to put this. Uh, it's called a nerve conduit. Mm -hmm. They put in my in, in both of my feet, but they go one at a time. Okay, May. Well, well, well. All I'm saying is the difference between the difference between the guy that offered you 415 and us is we are already under contract with you for 400. So you can't accept anybody else's offer. You told me I'm under contract. I have the paper sitting here looking at it. 
Right, so what's the point of you telling me about the guy at 415? You can't accept his offer. So. You keep telling me what I can and cannot do. And you can't. You keep continuously <laughs> talking about it. I, I'm talking about the fact that people are calling me. My number's still out there. And it's a free, it's a free world. Right, and I'm letting you they know, know, they you, know. If you, they you, calling me by my house, and I don't want to even sell it no more. Right, and all I'm you letting know. you know is you can't accept another offer because we're already under contract. Okay, now how many times have you told me that? I'm very intelligent. Okay, sounds good. So then we're under an understanding. Well, so, then y'all go ahead on and, 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 and buy the house. Yeah. When when you get the lady out, we can buy it under the terms of the I'm agreement. I'm not getting the other. Listen. Our this agreement says you have to get her out. Our agreement, no. our agreement says that we're buying the property empty. It doesn't say we're buying it with a lady in there. So, under our agreement, it's your responsibility to deliver the property vacant to us. Sir, why are you repeating yourself to me like this? I'm not repeating your, myself to you. I already told you I'm getting ready as as a Friday. That I'm getting ready to send a certified letter. Perfect. So why are you telling me to buy it right now if she's still in there? We will well, buy the then, property. Listen, let me let me go ahead on and do what I got to do. Okay, get the because lady I out and then I we'll buy the I property. I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. Okay. I don't need to be getting my nerves and going through all of this. Well, I, already, I know you I'm already just, said I don't, I don't understand saying. what the confusion is. One, well, we're well, going to get the... Don't understand. Don't understand. No, just no, no. Let me, let me tell you. Let just me tell do you. Do what you got to do and stop talking to me about it. Do it. You got to do what you got to do. We got to get the seller out, and then we can close on the property and pay you for it and buy it. So that's the plan. Are we on the same... Are we under the same no, understanding here? You keep, I'm saying... You keep aggravating my nerve. You make me feel like I don't even want to continue with this thing. I'm not aggravating your nerves at all. That that All I'm saying is, are we getting the lady out and then we're buying it? Is that the plan or, or no? See you asked me the same shit you just asked me. And I told you well, I'm sending a one certified minute you're talking letter. about one thing. The yes, next you're talking about another thing. Okay, you just be excited and enjoy your contract and do what you got to do, okay? And I'm going to do what I got to do. Okay, so, right. so we'll be following up with you in a few days to see if you sent the letter certified to her and then we'll go from there. So bad as I need some money, you ain't got to worry about me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to follow up with some. you in a couple so days. What is this? You calling me from Fast Wheel Deals? Who is that? That's one of our companies. We're buying your property. We're, we're under contract to purchase your property and we're going to help you get the seller out, the, the tenant out. If the tenant needs some money to move, we can assist with that. So we need to be in communication with you. And well, see is, this, is, is this, um, what's your name? Jacob. Huh? Oh, okay. No, I keep saying all these different numbers and stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, Jacob, let me go here and I'll do what I'm doing. What are you because doing? Because now I know. I know for a fact. So I, I, I wish I could send you the letter to let you know where the lady sent me. She didn't do my telling me that I had a, a deed with an error on it. I didn't tell you and nobody. Uh, I, I would have to go check for myself, so I was able. I went, for, no, that's wrong. I went Friday, right? And I, I didn't know that the holiday was Friday and the courthouse was damn closed. So then I had to go back Monday. So okay. it was really Monday. So, so, so the deed's the court, good now? The sign, and I got a copy of the updated deed with the stamp on it, because they had already mailed it to me. So, so, so the deed is good now, huh? But the lady asked me, who told me that? Right? That's what so, the lady asked me. So the deed is good now? Huh? So, so the deed is good now? You got a good deed or no? I'm telling you, they told me they're not wrong. I'm just asking the whether the, the, oh, okay. Good, the deed's good. There we go. Yeah, but I went to find out for myself when somebody, one of these people that called me, had me upset that it wasn't no good. I just told them okay. and blocked them from my phone and told them they told a lie. Who are they? Who are they? I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are. They are. Then don't why the care. hell are you listening to them? <laughs> yeah, well, I know, I know 
that I went and got it from no response. Okay? okay, well, good, good. The deed's good. So great. So okay. I just want yeah, you. So I just I, want um, May. I just want you to let me know if you need any of our help to get the lady out of the property because, like I said, we'll we'll offer her money to move out and stuff. So. Okay, well, I'm gonna send her the certified letter. Um, I just tomorrow I got to go to my surgeon for my foot. I'm having I I'm I'm having let me see the six I'm having surgery on my left eye. I'm waiting to get the authorization from my heart doctor to get back off my heart medicine, so I can do the surgery on my left. I'm doing each foot at a time, but. Okay. You no, know, I don't know if you have heard of neuropathy. No, I haven't. I so hope I hope all that goes okay, and uh, yeah, I hope all that goes yeah, smooth. Yeah, so I'm doing. I'm I'm taking care of me while yeah. I'm doing this. So just bear yeah. with me. Yeah. No, we we will bear with you. Like I was telling you, we will do this on your time frame. You know, we're not trying to put pressure on you, but. Look, let me just explain. No, this. no, no, no. It, there's no pressure. Right, there is no just pressure. I and, have been called. I have been told. They, and they didn't call me. They text me to tell me that my D was had errors. You know. And I, I just talk, blocked them from I my talk, phone. I wish I would have sent a to you and showed you. And I told them they was a liar. I can't understand and a don't single be word. Me no more information like that. You know. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let me let me tell you something real quick, please. Give me a second. So I'm I we're here to help you. Look, we're not trying to pressure it or whatever. You got a lot going on, so we can do this on your pace. No pressure. Well, it, I'm okay it, now. Okay, let me I let me finish what no. I'm saying, you please. Can, go ahead. can I you finish can go ahead. what I'm saying? I meant, I wanted to make sure that not look. I wasn't gonna tell you that till I went to find out. Okay, can now I finish I'm what I'm saying? Can I can I finish no, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm telling you what had me personally slow down was to be able, and I went fighting. You know, some kind of law enforcement holiday was Friday. Did you hear know about that? No, no, but could I finish what I was telling you? You keep cutting me off. What? Okay, so what I was telling you is we can do this at your time frame, so that way there's no pressure because you have a lot of other things going on. We can help you get the lady out if we need to offer her money to move out. We can help with that. And, um, and so just keep us posted on that you're gonna do the letter uh certified so that's great and then as far as like the other offers that you told me about it's just concerning and that's why i have to remind you that you well, can't I'll tell you what wait I did wait let too. me finish let me finish what i'm saying Go ahead, Go because ahead. because you're getting upset at me when i'm not getting to finish what i'm no, trying I'm not to tell upset. you i was just okay. going to tell you what i did do yesterday okay i put well, let me just I finish put, uh, real quick, please. Everything in the house under a, a warranty. Okay, good. So now what I was trying to say is this. The thing about the under contract that I keep reminding you and the other offers, it's I have to do that because it's happened in the past where people go and try to sell somebody else and try to screw us over. So when you mentioned somebody else offered you something and you were entertaining it, I have to remind you, look, we're under contract. But... You're smart. You get that. So no worries there. I wasn't trying to upset you. I just was trying to let you know. And we look forward to helping you and working with you. And so there should be no hard feelings or, or the joy out of this taken away from you. I'm here to help. And that's all. Okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. All right. All right. Now, now, I'm, I, I'm glad we're on the page. I'm, I'm sending the certified letter. I'm sending the certificate, but I just found out Monday everything. At least I could say to you, because I went, and then the lady at the clerk at the court asked me, who told you that lie? And, and, um, yeah. So, and I told, I told them, so anyway. Yeah, uh, but I don't that know was who told I you that. that, that was, who, who the hell told you the deed wasn't good? No, I'm serious. I'm not making that up either. I know. Who told you that? They're like, what? Like. Well, I'm glad the deed's okay. So that's good. So let me know. No, just, no, no. Just, uh, but I'm saying it. So now at least I could tell you that. Uh, because when I, the lady helped me file it, and I knew everything was supposed to be okay, but somebody going to tell me that, I'm serious, that that was a... Uh, um, uh, error on the deed. Okay, so well, I well I'm glad I'm glad the deed's okay, but I don't want to take any more of your time today because you got all that going on tomorrow. So, thanks for for the time and talking to me. And it sounds like we're on the same page. 
So just text me or call me once you send that letter certified. And no, we'll, I need and, that. Yeah, because I need the money as soon as possible. And we'll, we'll go from there. And then the mortgage over here, well, I got a reverse mortgage over here, but still, the mortgage company is that pits. <laughs> uh, okay. So, well, 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 uh, we'll go from there, okay? I, I'm going to let you go. You have a good rest of your evening, all, all right? All right. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah, thank you, May. You have a good one, and we'll talk, we'll talk soon. All right. Thank you. Bye. Uh-huh. Bye. Bro. Dude. I can't understand anything she's saying and she just wants to tell me these I went there Friday and Monday and I did this and blah 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 what's the point like get to the like bro she'll go on forever about what she did for for yesterday like dude it's crazy and if you guys see me talking like down here it's because the mic is right here but dude unbelievable Unbelievable. It, it, it gets super annoying sometimes dealing with certain sellers. Like, it's just like you're banging your head against the wall. Truly, truly banging your head against the freaking wall. All right, so let's uh, let's keep calling though. Let's call some new sellers rather than some rather than follow up stuff. Um, And let's try to get a deal locked up but there you go that's how you see how some situations are she's like talking to other people entertaining other offers and I'm trying to let her know you can't accept anybody else's offer so you might as well just not talk to them because you don't want your seller snaking you for somebody else and then she's getting all pissed because I'm enforcing our contract I'm just letting her know we have a legally binding agreement your obligations are to sell me the property. My obligations are to buy them. You can't go sell to somebody else because we're already under contract and she's getting upset. There's no reason to get upset. But you you could hear how that communication goes with her, so. Sorry, I'm not home with it. So, that's the name of the game with this stuff. Actually, we're gonna switch and we're gonna start calling buyers, I think, yeah. We're gonna call some buyers on this property in Colorado that we are trying to sell. All right, so let's start calling these buyers. This is a property like an hour away from Denver that we're working on selling. It's in Bailey, Colorado. All right. And we're dialing. Hey Keaton, you were interested in our property on uh, Burton Street in Bailey, Colorado. Yeah, yeah, how you doing? Doing good. How about yourself? Good. So this property here, it said you'd be between two fifty and three hundred k, I guess, when you talk to my team member. Oh yeah, yeah. You have the investment property. Yeah, on Burton Street. Yeah, remind me of the full address. It's 502 Burton Street, Bailey, Colorado. We we okay. That's a yeah, low no. that's a low offer 250 to 300. So mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able to accept that, but maybe that was just like a quick glance cuz stuff's going for like 5 600. Yeah, I mean, we were seeing we were seeing comps around like 4. So Definitely can't be close to your ass. And it was kind of just like, they were, you know, the guy I was talking to was just trying to get a number out of me, and I was saying, yeah. hey, we're going to be able to so. That's his job, and get a number out of you. But there's comps going for, there's one that sold for 640. There's a bunch of stuff, high five, six. You might want to rerun yeah. your numbers on it. Sure. Yeah, I'll rerun numbers. Because I think it might be something you're interested in. Because it is a little bit hard to comp. 
Like, we were struggling to comp it. Um, and we thought we had to be around what you were, what you just said until mm -hmm. we found, until we comped it a little better. It's a, it's just a little bit of a tricky, like, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely, uh, definitely look into it. Sweet, I'd appreciate that. I'm going to retext you all the info, so that way you have it to this number. Um, and then when you get a chance, just get back to me. Cool. Sounds all right, good. thanks, man. Bye. Thanks. There we go. Good buyer conversation. On to the next one. We're wholesaling real estate live on this video. We're going to try to lock up some deals. We're going to deal with sellers. We are going to try to sell some deals. Let's make it happen. You're watching me do it. I really do this every day. If you guys want to learn from me, um, go to jacobblank.com slash mentorship where you can get mentorship from me. Or you can get my learn how to wholesale program available at reiscalers.com. There's links in the description for all of this. Hello? No answer. On to the next one. Hi, you've reached Michael Lynch from that. Hello? Hi, you've reached Michael Lynch. I'm going to send a text with the details of the deal to him. Wants to know the capacity of the septic tank. Let me check on that with the seller real quick. Let's call the seller. One of the buyers wants to know what is the capacity of the septic, ta septic tank. So we're going to call the seller and find out. Sometimes it's a lot of back and forth from buyers to sellers to pin down information. A lot of times you'll be calling back and forth to get info, to get all the info, because some things you just don't ask. Hello? Hello? Hey, Davina, how are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Doing good. I, I believe I got a text message from you. The title company hasn't reached out to you yet. No, and so I was just kind of getting concerned. I don't know, like, really what what the process is, really. So I just kind of would like to be updated on yeah. how everything's supposed to go. Yeah, sometimes they won't reach out for a little bit, like a couple weeks, till it's closer to the close, like a couple weeks before the close. Um, but I'll have them reach out to you um, by the end of this week, okay? And then okay. I had a question for you. You might know this, you might not. Um, as far as the septic tank, do you know the capacity of it? Like which capacity tank it is? Oh, the septic. Um, I might have that in our records um, from when we when we closed on the house. I would have to do some digging though, but I don't know off of the top of my hand. Okay, do you know uh, how old the septic tank is or the last time it was inspected? Uh, we had it checked um, two years ago. And it was all fine? Oh, yeah. Everything was all good. They pumped it and just said regular maintenance um, to, be, to be done, which um, would be coming up within these next two years. All right. Well, they should uh, be serviced every three to four years. I think that I think that should answer all my questions on that. I will um, I will let you know if I need to know the capacity, but I think we'll be fine. I don't want you to go digging if it's not that important. So I'll let you know if, okay. that, if we need it. All now, right. Let me know. Um, I'm not sure if I have those in my record, so it would be. I know I have the well 
like the capacity of the well, but I don't, I know that we had it tested when we bought the house, but I don't recall. Um, I don't know if I have it. I probably do, but I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I will let you know if I need that. Other than that, you have a okay. great rest of your day. Okay. You too. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye. So there we go. Now we're going to call this buyer. I mean, she doesn't know, but we got some info about the septic. So let's see what this buyer wants. See if they answer. We're talking to sellers, talking to buyers, doing it all, doing it all. Text the deal info to him. And we're going to move on to the next buyer. Hey, uh, you were interested in our property on uh, 502 Burton Street in Bailey, Colorado? No, no, I don't think I am. We we spoke to you the other day. You were interested. Yeah, I I'm not right now. <clears throat> Why is that? My, my figures didn't come out right for enough money to get in there and keep it the way I'd like to. What price would you need to be at on it? We have some room to negotiate. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in going up there. Okay. In you're not interested in going to Bailey, is what you're saying? That's that's right. That's that's right. I'm not interested. It's too much. Uh, financially, I'm not that doesn't fit my budget the way I select houses. We, like I so, said, we have some room. Denver, uh, we, Nevada, uh, um, Thornton, Commerce City, Erie, those areas. Okay. I, I mean, like I said, we have a lot of room to negotiate. Do you even want to make an offer? Yeah, no. Sorry. Okay. You have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye. Try to pull an offer out of these buyers. Always try to pull an offer out. Send a text with the property info. Move on to the next buyer. The septic guy. Mark, are you there? Yes, I am. So regarding the septic, 
I don't know the capacity, but it was inspected two years ago and serviced, and it's totally fine. Yeah, that doesn't help. Okay. Um, you, you it doesn't help. Active service before it's sold, number one. And number two, you got to you gotta tell me what the capacity is, because if the capacity is for a two-bedroom and it's a three-bedroom house, that looks different than a two-bedroom house. Okay, got it. And then what was the other thing you said? Uh, the septic has to be, um, by law in the state of Colorado, if you're on a septic system, mm -hmm. it has to be um, approved and authorized and cleaned before a sale. Not two years ago. It has to be done before the sale is done. Even as a cash as is sale? Doesn't matter. It's by law. Okay. And then as far uh, I, I, I will not be buying a septic system that has not been uh, approved. I just won't. Okay. I don't want to tell you, but I won't. I didn't say we wouldn't get it approved. That's not a problem. So let me ask you this. Uh, as far as numbers go, I'll get you that info on the septic. Uh, seller's just got to dig through her paperwork for it. I just spoke to her before calling you because I wanted to try to get that info and not waste your time. But she's going to have to dig for it. Um, but as far as um, numbers go, when you were looking at this property, did you run numbers on it and see what, what price you think you'd be at as far as an offer if the septic's all fine? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Is that better? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, there's no reason to run numbers until I know what that's like. Okay. Well, I mean... Well, it doesn't make any sense. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, well, uh, it doesn't make any sense to care about the septic if it's way over, or if it's not a pr deal where you're going to be able to pay what what's asked for it, but... Okay. So it kind um, of goes both ways, but we can... it's. It's going to take probably her a few hours to find that. Uh, is there? Do you know of the quickest way to find the capacity? If she, rather uh, than call digging, the county. call the county. Call the county. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll have her do it, and then I'll call you back. Okay. Bye. All right. Thanks, Mark. Bye. That dude's. That dude's on one. <laughs> Hey, yeah, can you, do two, can you do two things for me, Davina? I think the easiest way for you to find out the septic tank capacity is if you call the county and ask. Um, so okay. instead of digging through papers, that may be a faster way. And then when you call the county, also ask them if in this area in Bailey, if there is the law that it has to be cleaned and approved before sale. Because there's a law okay. in Colorado on septic that before sale it has to be cleaned and approved by the state um, or by the county before it can be sold and okay. I, i'm not i don't think there is because we ended up asking for it to be done when we bought the house they weren't just going to do it but i'll make sure i'll make, make I'll sure because i know some call. some places in colorado it's required okay yep yeah, i will call and get that verified um and then do you just want me to test that over, or how do you want me to send that over to you? Give me a call back, because I'm getting a lot of text messages that I've been missing them. So call me back, so that way I'm sure I see it. Okay, sounds good. I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yep, bye. Thanks, bye. This is a call for Jake from Seller Let's Do It. Hello, are you there? Yes, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, Chris, how are you doing today? Doing good. Um... Are you calling about your property looking for a cash offer or was I calling you um, because you were interested in buying a property? Um, and then she sent her form online about getting an offer for the market. Oh yeah. Okay, let me pull your information back up. One second. All right, sounds good. Got it. That was easy. So it's the Cypress Lake Drive, right? Yep, that's me. All right. So 
couple questions for you while I calculate my offer. Um, first off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling it? We got a buyer on a seller on the house. phone. You're getting a new house. Okay, have you got that new house yet or? Uh, no, we have not closed yet. We're it's under construction. Oh, it's a new build. Got it. Okay. And then um, how old is the roof on this property? Brand new. We just had it replaced two months ago. Okay, the roof's two months old. And then do you have a central air conditioning unit? Yes, sir. How old is that? Uh, the house was built in 2015, so uh, eight years. Okay. All right. And then as far as the interior condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape, pretty much the same as 2015? or? Uh, we actually remodeled the whole house a few years ago. So, you know, kitchen, granite, floor, the whole nine yards. Okay. Is, does it have the modern white, black, gray colors or? Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's a, a grip around the walls. Um, the cabinets are custom painted white cabinets. We put them in your slab granite at the countertop. Sweet. We um, did tile around the master tub, and then we had the whole front of the house redone. So stucco, columns, stuff like that. And that's a pond right behind your backyard, huh? Yes, yeah, it's a lake lot. Nice. Is there fish in it? Are you able to fish or not? Yeah, yeah, it's recreational. Yeah, yeah nice. we fish, neighbors fish. That's fun. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And there's no HOA, so we pay. That's the benefit, too. We have a pot. I don't have to pay no one for the pot. Yeah, that's good. Let me ask you this. Um, how much are you looking to get for it, considering you've done all that work to it? Uh, well, we uh, our neighbor's house just got split. Uh, they got foreclosed on, uh, which is terrible. A realtor bought it and flipped it, and it's the same floor from as ours, um, just not as remodeled as our standards. So we we're looking to put our home on the market, probably in the 280s and 290s, since their home just closed at 276. Yeah. So we got to be able to make a profit in order to be in business, obviously. So we want to be business. Yeah, we want to be able to pay more than probably 255. Okay, gotcha. I, I, I don't think we'll be able to go that low. But I appreciate the offer and the conversation. Yeah, would you maybe want our help to list your property on the market? Uh, well, I actually need to be a broker myself, so I'm going to do this vote now and see what I get. Got it. Okay. Well, I hope it works out. Sounds like you got a beautiful house, so I'm sure it'll sell quick for what you want. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Yep, have a good one. Bye. All right, that guy is sophisticated. Mr. Sophisticated over here used to be a realtor. All right, back to trying to sell this property. Calling buyers again. Uh, I was a seller, I'm calling buyers. Zero. We're going to send them a text. All right, and then one of the buyers texted. Do you have updated pictures? It says the cabinets were painted. All right.
column. to the next person. Send a text with the property info. Recall these last two buyers on this one. Hello? Hey, you were interested in our property in Colorado, in Bailey, Colorado, for sale on 502 Burton Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still running numbers on it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, just get back to me when you want to make an offer, okay? Sure. Uh, do you have any wiggle room? This is the one that was like, what, 397? Yeah. We have a little bit of wiggle room. We do. Okay. Not too much, but we do have some. We're, we're willing to work with you. Um, so, would love to hear back an offer from you. Okay. Sounds good. I'll try to get something over to you today. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. All right. Bye. That guy's nice. All right, well, he sounds pretty solid. So we're gonna make that one better. Bold that one, because we're gonna wanna follow up with him. Move on to the next person. Hey Jack, you're interested in property in Colorado, right? To buy? Uh, yes. I'm... Sweet. Did you see our deal on uh, 502 Burton Street in Bailey, Colorado? Let me take a look. We One sent second. it to you, so you should have the info. Um, What uh, email did you send it to? Um, I'm not sure. Is this your cell phone number? The 720-675? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to text you all the info to your cell phone right now. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Okay. All right. Let me see. What is it? Tell me the address so we can put it here. It's 502 Burton Street. B-U-R-T-O-N. Just texted you all the details. Yeah, I just swap, spoke to him. What's Keaton's phone, last four digits of phone number or his phone number? Uh, are you what company? You are you? Same company right? What company are you? And no, I, I didn't. Work with the master. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, no, I didn't. So, I mean... Yeah, we're... Yeah. I mean, we might sign an... Uh, Keaton's saying that he'd have to be 250, 300K on it. His numbers are wrong. I told him to rerun the numbers. But y'all are going to want an option period to market it to your buyers, right? Yeah, like two or three days. Yeah, we'd be willing to do that. But uh, can you run the numbers on it and get back to me? Because Keaton's numbers are wrong. 
I mean, you guys don't live in Colorado, do you? No, but his numbers are... He's missing some comps, for sure. <laughs> well, I, I mean, he's been here for four years. He probably doesn't play a deal a year. I, I, I doubt his numbers are that off. Um, okay. What do you guys use to comp deals? Do you have access to the MLS? Yeah, we do. Okay, let me look at this. Bailey. There's stuff going for five and six hundred. Let's see, you're on a dirt road. Do you have any information about the well or septic? Yeah, septic was serviced two years ago, it's fine. Well is uh same deal. They're both good. And you have all the permit and information for that? Yep. Okay. Considering for 168 days. Oh, that was back in 2018. Let's see here. <clears throat> so it needs the full work, so it looks like, right? It doesn't need much work at all, barely any. Oh. It says I'm on the kitchen cabinets. Okay, that's from the previous listing. And seventeen hundred square feet. Let me just run this really quick. But he was adult nineteen eighty. There is stuff for four hundred, but there is oh, there's a five seventy five. There's a five hundred. Um, which one? Which one closed more recently? Two five eight Wise Road, five hundred. Okay, and it sold uh, last month. Let's see. Two five eight Wise Road. Sold for five hundred last month. It was built in two. Dude, it was built in 2001. It's not a comp. <laughs> it's the same style house. Yeah, built 20 years later. I mean, it's like appraisal standards are within. Appra appraisal standards actually are 20 years. It's just not. I mean, we would just not consider that a comp, whether appraisal standards or not. Appraisal standards is is within twenty years, so it barely misses appraisal standards. So there's there's other comps. So. Yeah, let me look at the other ones. Hold on. That I can tell you, I would not even use as a comp, but um, let's see, you have. One sixty Elk Drive on a bigger lot, same size house. Built in the sixties, paying at four hundred, so that's pretty accurate. Let's see what this one looks like. Pretty standard home, nothing rehab. Harris down. Street, two one eight Harris Street, sold for four eighty. Same size. Built three years newer, smaller lot. I'm not seeing too many here, so you were sold for what? 380? 480. I don't see Harris. I don't see that one. Um, how far away is it from the center of property? Half a mile, under half a mile away. It's all good. I mean, if you guys think it's, if you guys can pin down ARV closer to 500 on it and you want to work it for high threes, close to 400 is what we're trying to get for it, we'll sign a couple day option with you. I mean, you also have two comps that sat for 66 and 76 days. One was built in. 2022, one was built in 2018, and they barely sold for 495 and 500. 
and then the exact same size house. I don't know where you're getting those because those aren't comps because they're newer. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know how a house built in 1980 could well, look the same as a house built in 2022. I'm just going off the comps here. 218 Harris Street sold for 480. 258 Wise Road, yeah, it's one year out of appraisal standards, being 21 years newer. Sold for 500. And then there's a 575 yes. on uh, Wheaton that I am trying to find that we were looking at. I don't see the Wheaton one either. Yeah, that, that, the Wheaton and these one. all closed in the past year? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Wheaton was the one that was like the best one. That's why we uh, signed it. Yeah, right here. I mean, it's on Hayes Street, two seven eight Hayes Street. Sold for five seventy five. Yeah, two seven eight Hayes. That was built in two thousand three. It was bigger. Yeah, it is. And it's on two acres. Right, but ours it our it's not on two acres. It's on twenty eight thousand square feet, so it's six thousand square feet bigger than ours. And it's on one point seven nine acres, one and a half acres. How right? it says twenty eight thousand square feet. Let me see. Maybe it's wrong. Um, lot size 1.79 sat for 21 days built in 2003 21 days that's no time on the market yeah it is a acre and a half but I still think ours is worth around five for sure what about the one at uh one five eight tall Close to three ninety nine, exact exact same size on an acre voltage. What is it? One five eight tall timber lane. Tall timber lane. This one closed at that because it needed a remodel. Look at it. Uh, it's sold as is. Fine, I mean, yeah, but it, it's sold as bathroom, is. Bathroom, carpet. But, I mean, there's no flooring. The place is. It's an as is sale. That's yeah, why yeah. we're asking around there. It's sold as is. It's a fixer upper. That's why we're asking yeah. around there. This is not an ARV well, car. We're asking 400. We're asking three, between 380 to 390. Just like this one. It's sold as is, fixer upper. Three ninety nine. Ours is in better shape than this one. It sat for sixty two days and it could have very well gone to another occupant. Yeah. Well. Um, I guess we agree. We even if it was, look, even if it was worth five hundred k, I don't know why anyone would do a mountain and a half rehab for a hundred k. It doesn't need rehab. Like that's the point. But whatever. We agree to disagree. So. It's fine. Well, I mean, are there pictures? Uh, let me look at the last listing pictures. It's in the same exact condition as it was when it sold in 2019. Um, yes, except it's actually the cabinets have been painted gray. Granite countertops have been put in. There's a solar system and new roof, and the solar is paid off. So. Let me see. So it's in better There's shape. No structural no. issues, whatever. Nope. Yeah, it does. Um, I mean, so what's someone going to do? Just buy it and put it right back on the market for yeah, maybe be? maybe keep it as a rental because they're getting a decent deal on it, and or maybe put a little bit of money into it and sell it for five. If you look at the outside of ours, ours got a pretty good view, good deck, and it's a good property. I think I think it's worth closer to five. It does. It does look like a good property. I won't argue with you there. Um, there. There was one with siding, just like ours, that I was looking at. Um, that sold for a, a lot. Where the hell did it go? 
can check out 487 Gross Road. It's right down the street. Been sitting for 50 days. Beautiful house, 1,800 square feet, and they can't sell it. I mean, ours is ours is probably more the kitchen and ours and is nicer. And it was built in two thousand three. Yeah, I see and that. But they can't sell it at five fifteen, so I'm not allowed to go sell it at five hundred. I'm not selling it at five hundred. I'm selling it at three eighty. No, 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 I'm saying. I'm saying yeah, one yeah. Put I mean, maybe, uh, maybe, or... maybe four sixty then. I still think ARV is at least four sixty. Like, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah four sixty. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with you. So four sixty. Let's see. Let's call it four sixty. That's forty eight two. What did he not for you? He said two fifty. No, that's way too low. I would say like three fifty. Yeah, three fifty is what I'm seeing too. But I, you know, but I with with ARV five hundred, we were looking at three eighty. We can't accept three fifty. It's too low because we have it at uh, we have it locked up at three sixty seven. But there's yeah, a, there's a good amount of people interested in it, so. Yeah, I'm sure there's a million pot. It is. There's not a ton of active up there. I don't know the um, area. There's actually a lot of buyers that want to buy in Bailey, or. Are there? Are you asking me? Yeah, I don't know the area at all. So there's a lot of people wanting to buy in Bailey, cash buyers. Not a lot. That's what I'm saying. The mountain property is paying the ass to get. Um, you know, it's almost it's about an hour and forty five minutes from Denver, and this isn't this isn't even in Bailey. This is like up in the mountains outside of Bailey. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, you get crews up there, materials, supplies, an hour and you know forty five minutes every single So day. not a lot of people interested is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm saying the mountain properties are tougher. That's yeah. why I'm trying to buy them deeper. Yeah. All right, well, I'll and let you know if I get a price drop. It. If I get a price drop and I'm closer to around what you guys think, then we can give you an option to market it. Yeah, I think 250 is way too low. I don't know where he came up with that, but. Um, That's why I said he should probably rerun his numbers. <laughs> how do I get the deals before Keaton gets them? I don't know. Keaton's probably signed up on our list. Go to fastwholesaledeals.com. Sign up to our list. Maybe I don't know. He he probably just saw it the email before you did. Fast wholesale deals. Dot com. All right. All right, cool. Let's let's uh, keep in touch. Let me know that himself. Yeah, sounds good, bro. I appreciate you running the numbers and giving me some insight. Yes, sir. Thank All you right. for calling me. Yeah, you have a good rest of your day. Thanks. So we agree to disagree, but then we agree at the end and it's all good. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We talked to some sellers and we dealt with some seller situations where they weren't so happy and kind of had a little bit of an argument there at the beginning of this video. Then we got on the phone with some buyers. Then we got back on the phone with some sellers. Then we gave an offer to a seller and then we talked to more buyers. Overall, that gives you an idea of what it looks like a day in the life of wholesaling real estate. You saw it all. And so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also go down below and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, there's links down below in the description for everything I use in my wholesaling business. So if you're curious on how I found these cash buyers or how I find these motivated sellers or what I use to talk to them, to run my numbers, all of it, marketing, sales, you name it, it's all available down below in the description. So make sure to check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.